clouds and some sunshine as we head through the morning hours and then a slight chance for some rain this afternoon. You'll see some of these green dots starting to appear on the map here throughout the afternoon hours and that's indicating just a few stray showers. So about a 20% chance, not any reason to cancel your outdoor plans. In fact, with temperatures climbing into the mid 80s this afternoon, a little bit of rain might cool you off, might even feel a little nice out there. If you're headed out to the North Market for the Food and Wine Festival today, 81 degrees at 12 o'clock, 85 at 4, 81 degrees at 8 o'clock. As we head into the evening hours, still a slight chance for a few showers through about 8, 9 o'clock. After that, we'll see those chances diminish, partly cloudy skies through the overnight hours. Some warm temperature readings tonight. We wake up tomorrow morning to temperatures in the upper 60s for many of us. 68 for Cambridge, 68 for Marietta, 66 for Urbana, and 68 the morning low tomorrow in Marion. Through the day tomorrow, another round of partly sunny skies and another slight chance for an afternoon shower, maybe a weak thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Just like today, most of us staying dry again tomorrow. Main thing you'll notice tomorrow will be warmer weather. It's going to be warm and muggy with high temperatures flirting with 90 degrees. Not the case today. We're in the low to mid 80s north of Columbus, 83 for Mansfield, 84 for Bucyrus, 85 for Marysville. A look at the weather where you live in and around Columbus, 85 for Westerville, 86 for Reynoldsburg, 85 for Hilliard and 86 for Grove City. As you head south and east of Columbus, also into the mid 80s, 84 for Cambridge, 85 for Newark, 85 for Chillicothe and 85 for Piketon. Heat and humidity in the forecast for next week. Take a look at this seven day forecast. We're close to 90 tomorrow with a 20% chance for rain, just a 10% chance Monday through Wednesday, but high temperatures into the low 90s. You factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like it's around 100 degrees next week. So that's potentially dangerous weather, especially for folks sensitive to the heat. We'll be keeping a close eye on those conditions here over the next several days.